so much of your strategy so far, it sounds like it's building on the fact that rates are at least going to stay here or coming lower, right? More leaning towards coming lower. Definitely not look like looking like they're going to go higher. I want to talk about the divergences in the indexes. Obviously, we have NASDAQ leading higher. We know the NVIDIA story, right? And AI and how tech has been leading that rally. S&P, we talked about some of the sectors and why it's kind of push and pull oil, not doing so well, but yet utilities, financials, and tech is doing really well. Russell 2000, very tied to rates, can't seem to get you know off first base. I mean, every time that market tries to go higher, I've seen more breakout charts that <laughs> Bill on X and it's going, here we go, here we go. And then bang, it comes right back in. At what point do the small caps start to believe what you believe that rates are coming down and the bull market is here to stay? That's a tough one. I mean, listen, I, I've been right about a lot of things this year and I've been wrong about a few things too. And I mean, now I haven't sort of leaned into, you know, make or break on Russell. We have we have an allocation, a tactical allocation to IJR in our portfolios. Typically we keep that around a three or 4%, you know, coming into the year, I increase that to 5% allocation thinking that we could get some stable outperformance potentially from there. Maybe not in the first quarter or out of the gate, but as the year unfolded, that there'd be some catch up and say, hey, I'm, I'm wrong on, on that little bit of overweight. You know, it's just been every you know time you see the market, the Russell from a trader's perspective too, you know, even today's a great example on Monday, the first day of June, 2100 in the Russell 2000 futures, I think 2104 and within maybe five, 10 minutes of the opening bell, I think it was unchanged down, you know, it gave up 25 points. And turning red on the session or, or at least new lows on the session down to 2075 it's been really a, a tough one to see sustained gains and like you said it's very rate sensitive and i think that's that's really i mean maybe people really aren't believing that the the rate story and then you you know also other headwinds so if rates are going to come down that's great but why are they coming down is it really they coming down today significantly because the ism manufacturing data are these companies deteriorating another really interesting fact is small businesses in general small businesses now, now these aren't small cap stocks but give you a pulse on on uh, some of these some of these names in general small businesses make up 60 percent of all businesses in the, in the country and the the small business survey is deteriorating just tremendously deteriorating so that you know, kind of gives you you know they might be a little smaller than the companies you're seeing in the russell 2000 but it gives you a pulse on you know where that push and pull is i mean these aren't large cap names with you know fortress balance sheets and tremendous cash flow and you know really their own becoming like see look at these these uh mega cap names they're like their own banks these Russell yeah. 2000 names, they're, they're not like that. It's a really tough push and pull. And I'm just as confused as some, some people out there may be. It's something that usually when you see such divergence and, and really look back at history, you get the concentration in the large caps. And, and even I think it was the, the 80s, it was Exxon and AT&T and Kodak. And you get the underperformance in, in the small caps. It's like an alligator jaws. And that thing sort of closes up. And we just haven't gotten that over the last year as one would expect. Let's stay on the Russell 2000 for a moment. We got Russell reconstitution at the end of the month. It's usually a seamless transition, you know, as the Russell reconstitutes at the end of June. Let's just say that the Russell does start to participate in this rally. Do you think that's an overall bullish sign? Or do you think that maybe money starts pulling out of these sectors that have been running higher? Or if Russell starts really leading lower, rates kind of just stay where they are. How does that look for the overall indexes? I think if people start stretching for performance, you know, the Russell 2000, that, that I think that helped it at the, towards the end of last year a bit. I don't think we're in the same situation where there, there's more believers in a bull market this year. Obviously, it's year two. But I mean, you lean into to some of the cyclicals and some of the you know financials and healthcare that can really drive the year two to bull market. And, and that the Russell 2000 makes up you know, it has quite a bit of financial exposure. It's really tough to say, but I, I would imagine as, you know, some puck may move a little bit away from tech at some point this year, you know, a lot of the expectations start to get built in. You see that in, in software right now, software is, is going through its own little, you know, bear market. Look at Salesforce last week, big name like MongoDB that a lot of people follow. Some of these names are just getting hit in the software space. You know, you start to see that start to take place. And maybe that could be a little bit of, of a rotation thematically, but more broadly, and you know, from some as people look for, okay, where can I go to get some outperformance? And that could be, you know, the Russell 2000 become an answer if yields are down a little bit. I think the worry is you hear like Jamie Dimon, you hear a lot of a lot of banks, they, they're very fearful that rates are going to stay up. Now I look at Jamie Dimon, I have massive respect for him. I think he's a tremendous, big fan of him. But we start to hearing some of you know, him and, and people cut from his cloth, start talking about rates at really high levels. Typically, I could somewhat be the high end of a rate cycle because they're, they're used to seeing rates at such high levels 
going back in the 80s and 90s, it's normal for them. And I think we're in a different economy now, a different place right now. So I think there's some fear from that angle that you're going to start to see, you're going to see rates stay up for an elongated time. But if they actually do start to come down and you get the the tenure below 4%, maybe that is that that sort of that marker that sort of is a green light for small caps, because at that point, you know, they can start to roll out and, and push out different debt packages that they have that's on their balance sheet and gives them a little more flexibility because that's really the fear. You know, maybe rates come down a little bit, but are they down long enough to really make it a value for some of these names to roll out debt that's really weighing their balance sheet down? Yeah, I'll be curious to see what, what shakes out if rates do start to come down a little bit in tech. Because like for me, I manage a portion of my uh, long-term portfolio and I've actually been trimming some tech. And like you said, every time I trim it, it goes up again. And I'm always like, ah, and I've been waiting to buy Russell. It's just my thinking because I'm like, okay, this stuff is done amazing. Take some money off the table. It's never a winner until you bank some. You know, and this is my long, long term stuff. And I'm looking, thinking about it going, I'm slowly getting out of that to eventually get into if rates come down and into the Russell. So that's why I'm, I was curious what your thoughts are and how that dynamic would look if the Russell does start to go. Because if you go back to even last November, you remember when basically the Fed said, hey, you know, we're done, you know, mission accomplished. <laughs> hey, I mean, Russell rallied 5% in a month. I think it was the biggest Russell ever. Uh, rally in the Russell ever. So, and only not that I'm trying to catch that move again. I kind of am, but it's one of the things I'm looking at. 